Hey there. Let's consider a discussion between Joe and Jess. Joe wishes to learn JavaScript but is overwhelmed with the vast amount of content to cover. Jess kindly helps in creating a learning path to make things easier for Joe. If you're looking for assistance with this too, then you're in the right place. So let's begin. To make things easier, I've classified the topics into fundamentals, advanced level topics, web platform, and other tools and frameworks. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. First, let's begin with JavaScript fundamentals. I'm sure these are topics that everybody has already learned. However, getting your fundamentals strong lays the foundation for better and faster learning. Some of these include the lexical structure of JavaScript, JavaScript variables, types and expressions, JavaScript functions, which include the function constructor, self-invoking functions, functions as values and objects, arrow functions, generator functions and predefined functions. Then there's JavaScript arrays, it could be array methods, map reduce and filter. Then there's JavaScript loops, which include the for loop, for in loop, while loop and the do while loop. And then we have objects, which include creating objects, object properties, methods and accessors. Moving on, there is data structures like boolean, string, number, null, undefined. There's control flow statements like if, else, there's data object, there's type conversions that is converting from one data type to another, then there's mathematical operators and lastly there's scope in JavaScript that talk about the local and global variables. Now once you've laid your foundation strong, you can go ahead and work on more advanced topics. Now let's have a look at them. First one being callbacks. Now this is a pillar for something called as asynchronous programming. And then there's promises. And finally there's async await that are built on promises to achieve asynchronous programming. There's closures that are an extension of variable scope and define how global and local variables are accessed. The next important concept to learn is timers that help in delaying the execution of certain code or functions. Then there's prototyping, followed by inheritance. Now they specify how JavaScript objects inherit properties and methods from a prototype. Next up, there's binding. There's also regular expressions where you'll have to learn about flags, patterns, quantifiers, meta characters and basic string search and replacement techniques. Lastly, we have Unicode, event loops which involve blocking an event, creating a simple event. And lastly, we have generators. Moving on, let's look at some of the important web platform tools required to master JavaScript. First up, we have cookies that talk about how to create, read, change and delete cookies for any web browser. There's local storage, that is you'll have to know how data is being stored locally on the browser. We have APIs or application programming interfaces that define how to extend functionalities to a browser. One such important API is the fetch API, which is important to request resources, be it network resources or database resources. Finally, there's the document object model that defines how anything that is being changed on the browser is affecting the model state and vice versa. And lastly, we have service worker, which is basically a script that runs in the background of a web browser and assists in offline app development. Moving on, let's have a look at the tools supported by JavaScript. Now, JavaScript offers a wide range of these libraries and frameworks. However, you could choose to learn whichever that suits your interest and requirements. Firstly, there's React, which is an excellent JavaScript front-end library that helps create interactive web pages. Now there's Angular, which is a JavaScript framework that is used to create single page applications. Next up, we have Vue, which is also a front-end JavaScript framework used to create single page applications. Now, although these libraries and frameworks 
have the same objectives their underlying architecture and working differ and as a result of this different people prefer different frameworks and libraries for app development you can choose the one you wish to learn and go for it next up is typescript now typescript basically defines a set of types to javascript and helps users write javascript code that is easier to understand typically all the typescript code compiles down to javascript code the next framework is electron now this framework again enables you to create desktop applications with the help of javascript html and css and lastly there's jquery now jquery is a lightweight write less do more javascript library the purpose of jquery is to make it much easier to use javascript on your website it does so by simplifying ajax calls and dom manipulation now to give you a simple overview of what we've learned we have beginner level or fundamental topics then we have the advanced level topics there's web platform and finally there's tools but you must be wondering how can we help you now one thing you could do is take up a simply learn certification course now to help you understand this better let me just open the website here you can type in javascript and there are a few courses and masters program that we provide you have the node.js training course and then there's the full stack developer mean stack masters program you can also click on them and go through the overview and if you think this is what you're looking for, you can go ahead and take up the course. So with that, we come to the end of this session. I hope this helped you gain clarity with respect to learning JavaScript. If you're overwhelmed with it, do not worry. You can help yourself by beginning with it. Anytime you get stuck, you can always seek help. Regarding this video, if you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. Also, thank you so much for being here and watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.